a big wingman welcome to the wingman's path to positivity, to raising your vibration, and to creating a life of your choosing. I welcome you and I thank you for joining me and I appreciate you inviting me and all us wingmates in to share a spark of positive energy. Because as you well know, when we share that spark of positive energy, and then we're, I found it's that much easier to keep that positive energy. When we share it, when we share that spark, I feel it helps all of us individually to keep that spark going, to hold on to that positive energy just a little bit longer and to share it with our family and our friends and our loved ones and our neighbors and our communities to help us start bringing more positive energy into our lives and, and raising our vibration. And I found when we do, we start seeing clearly the path we should walk so that we may live a life of our choosing. And so I thank you again for being here with me. Today's practice is not the normal one about positive energy, but how to turn the energy around when the vibration just is taking you down the wrong way. You know, I'm out here today, it is, a, it is really rainy. It's a miserable day out here. And I thought about the, the old, there's an old saying that says, into every life a little rain must fall. And, I think for some of us it's sprinkles or a little drizzle and for some of us I think we have storm clouds that never seem to go away, right? We're in, we're in the storms, it seems like our whole life. So I thought maybe we could address that because I had a situation yesterday where I met with a, an old friend who's not only a published author but a fabulous therapist and we were talking about different situations and different therapeutic ideas and he mentioned that recently he was he spoke with a, a woman he had a session with a woman um, who had the unfortunate situation of losing not one but two children and I was like I, I don't even know what you say to someone in that situation but his words were so wise that I thought maybe he was saying them to me so I could say them to you I, so I could share them with you because one thing's for certain sometimes you can get into that t situation where you just can't get out of it and the loss of a of a child is certainly one of the the worst pain I think that we as humans can can understand can suffer so he said his words where he just asked her if there was a way she could honor her pain if she could honor her tears, if she could honor her grief, if she could honor her suffering, but not let it define her life, not let it take her down a, a rabbit hole of depression that it's almost impossible to get out of. And I thought that question was so wonderful for whatever type of or level of pain that you may be in. And let's face it, so many of us on the, on the wingman's path have experienced some type of pain, right? We've experienced pain and we understand what that means and how that can affect our lives. So I thought maybe this question might help you in dealing with the pain in your life. So I thought maybe, I don't have the answer, but you may. Maybe you have the answer. Is there a way you can honor your pain and honor your suffering without letting it define your life, without letting it take you down the, that, that rabbit hole of depression? And if it does, no one's going to blame you. No one's going to, you know, we are, everyone understands that, well, not, not that we understand this type of pain unless we've been through it, but we, we feel for you. And so I just wanted to say this question to you. So maybe you can ask it of yourself. And maybe as you do ask it of yourself, you'll figure out a way that you can honor your pain and you can honor your suffering and you can honor your grief, but not let it define your life. Ask yourself the question with me. Is there a way I can honor my pain without letting it define my life? Say it again. Is there a way I can honor my pain and honor my suffering without letting it define my life? Let's face it. So often we get into a, a painful situation that just knocks us back so hard that it's so difficult to come back from. I know I've been in that, in that type of pain, not the type of pain of a loss of a child, 
but we've all, we all experience some type of pain, and maybe it's not to that level, but it always feels like it is, right, until you, until you experience worse pain. And certainly the pain of losing a child is going to be the worst pain. So I ask you, is there a way that you can honor that pain and honor that suffering without allowing it to define your life? I thank you for joining me today, and I thank you for sharing our practices each morning with me and, and just helping all of us help each other to, to help to get our vibration moving in a positive direction. And I know how difficult that can be sometimes. Have a wonderful day today, one in which you come to the realization of a way maybe you can honor your pain so that you can start moving on with your life. I thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day today. Stay out of the rain if you're up in the Northeast of America. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Your Wingman Michael from the Wingman's Path to Positivity, signing off. <laughs>